Well, the beaches are beautiful. Unfortunately, sometimes when they're crowded, it's easy to lose your child visually. Miguel Melendez and his family visit the beach about four times a month. They lay on the sand and cool off in the water. Today, they're enjoying Palm Beach County's Juno Beach Park on a morning that the ocean is relatively calm. But because the ocean can be dangerous, Melendez says he takes precautions before getting in the water. Check on the riptide. Um, I've had, unfortunately, a few scares on beaches. And he says he watches or joins his kids in the water, even if they do know how to swim. There are simple steps you can take to stay safe in the water this summer. The ocean needs to be respected. I, I'm not comfortable letting the kids, unless even if they're certified swimmers, go above or go deeper than waste than their waist. It's summertime. The beach is going to be a, a busy area. Guards recommend that you show children the nearest lifeguard tower and instruct them to go there if they get lost. You just don't want to get to the beach and just run in the water. You want to kind of scope it out first. Ocean Rescue Lifeguard Eric Littleton says before even stepping onto the sand at any of Palm Beach County's 16 beach parks, it's important to be familiar with the beach you're visiting. At the beach access of every beach in Palm Beach County, we have uh, conditions boards that'll let the uh, parents and children or all beachgoers know um, the rules and regulations of that beach. From Tequesta to Boca Raton, Palm Beach County's Ocean Rescue Lifeguards keep beachgoers safe with up-to-date helpful and life-saving information. And on the condition boards, the lifeguards will write uh, the daily uh, beach conditions, the waves, uh, what to look out for if there's any rocks present, any rip currents, any man of war, jellyfish. Before getting in the water, Littleton recommends checking the conditions board for hazards that may be present. Swim near a lifeguard, obey posted signs and flags, and if you have questions, ask the lifeguard. On the calmest of days, sometimes the water and the ocean can be very deceiving. But once you get in, Littleton says be aware of how far out you are from shore, and if you hear a whistle or air horn, look toward the lifeguard for directions. The garden area um, only allows you to go out 50 yards, and there's other areas you can go on the beach, but we always recommend to go in the lifeguarded area. As adults, we tend sometimes get to be swept in, much more so a child. So uh, keeping a keeping them in very close proximity. Our Ocean Rescue lifeguards work hard to keep you and your family safe. By following these tips, beachgoers should have a fun and enjoyable beach visit. The sun is also a threat to your safety when out and about at our beach parks. So Littleton also reminds you to stay hydrated and keep applying sun protection, wear a wide-brimmed hat, and have shoes. The sand gets hot. I'm BB Baxch on 20.